Today, Elon Musk is going mask off. He has shared an article claiming Zuckerberg stole the election for Biden, claims the media is racist against white people, denied the Allen shooter was a neo-Nazi and claimed it was a psyop. This is all fascist propaganda. Yeah, I saw this. The massive public manipulation thing. Term frequency in popular US newspapers. Racist, racist, and racism. Oh man, they're talking about racism a lot. Interesting article. Perhaps community notes can add further context and corrections from the Federalist. Tucker Carlson wants to absolutely eviscerate the red-headed libertarians back walls oh my god dude i've never seen a more horny reply guy okay listen motherfucker i got a lot of female friends on twitter okay i know when horny sadistic psychopathic stalker reply guys are like i know how they behave you are doing it right now go jerk off you weirdo what the fuck are you doing he's like <laughs> every time the red-headed libertarian is like oh my god it seems like the government is trying to make us think that nazis are bad Ooh, tucker carlson's like interesting can i please get a crumb of pussy ma'am can i please uh can i please fuck you please oh my god i'm so desperate i want to fuck you so bad i'm gonna fucking kill myself i need your pussy ma'am that's what he's saying every time he Replies, he's literally like, I will literally kill myself if you don't give me crumb of pussy, please. That's what you're saying, Elon. We know what you're doing. We know what you're doing, you tip, 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 milady ass libertarian piece of shit. What the f It's so dumb. He's like, <laughs> uh, didn't the story come from Bellingcat, which literally specializes in psychological operation? Tip, 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 milady. I don't want to hurt their feelings, but this is either the weirdest story ever or a very bad psyop. <laughs> please have my 12th son, please. Please, you have such childbearing hips. I like this, please. Oh my God. It's so obvious. I've seen this fucking troglodyte literally reply to every single post of the redheaded libertarian. I don't want to see the redheaded libertarian, okay? I don't give a fuck about the redheaded libertarian. God damn it, dude. Conservatives are so fucking lame. Like one Minnesota seven goes out and is like, I'm libertarian. And everyone's like, oh my God, finally, we have one. It's like, you did this with Tommy Lauren. And now you're doing this with a red-headed libertarian. Keep it in your fucking pants, dude. Jerk off. Jerk off before posting. Holy shit. Like, I get it. All of the fucking, all of the sex workers, unfortunately for you, are in uh, hammer and sickle Twitter. So you just can't. You can't do that to them because they're like, I don't know, posting about how they want to fucking kill the rich or some shit. Literally. Just every fucking time. Anytime there's like a, like a average looking lady who's like, I'm actually a conservative. I'm like a horrifyingly racist person. Every conservative is like, oh my God, we found one. That's it. So good. I don't want to see this shit. I don't want to see any of this dumb shit anymore. Okay. Holy fuck. Since 1968, there have been over 130, 193,500 interracial murders, including 35,000 white women murdered by blacks. 85.4% of female total. 6,000 black women murdered by whites. Hmm. Let's think about that for a second. So 35,000 white women were murdered by black people. The interracial uh, race statistics are, are really interesting, especially when you consider that the overwhelming majority, uh, around 90% of crime, is being committed intra-racially, as in inside of the race. So it's white on white crime or black on black crime. So what does that leave us with here? Hmm. When you talk about 35,000 white women murdered by black people, Oh, that's right. There is a fuckload more white people in the country. It's just simple fucking math. Oh my God. That's crazy. It's almost like when 60% of the country is white, then like the victims overwhelmingly are still going to be in larger numbers, white people. Wow. Wow. That's wild. Wow. Math, dude. It's so simple. It's so fucking simple. What the fuck? These guys are the brilliant science uh, leaders of the of the nation, of the world, of the planet, really? They, they kind of, oh, I can't even talk. This kind of shit is so frustrating because it's just like celebrating idiocy, okay? And I fucking can't stand it, dude. I can't fucking stand it. I hate it. I despise it. They're so confident in their fucking stupidity. It blows my mind. Why is nobody going, hey man, that's actually wrong and dumb. You're wrong and dumb for saying this. Like, do you not have a single fucking person in your circle that can be like, hey dog, you know, not to correct you because you're the great boss king of the planet, but like, it seems like you have a, a complete false reading on the situation. Just think it through a little bit. There's a great danger to media stoking the fires of hatred. Oh God. 
great breakdown of this. Kareem Carr, data scientist. I know a lot of you want a technical breakdown of this meme. So here it is. Uh, what is this? Misleading format. First thing I did was recreate the bar chart. I wanted to make sure that my calculations matched there since they seem to have modified the data reported in the original source. Interracial violent crime incidents. 2018. Black on white, 547,000. Black on Hispanic, white on black, white on Hispanic, wh uh, Hispanic white, and then uh, Hispanic on black. The original table had percentages and those seem to have been used to reverse engineers in the numbers in the bar chart. Oh my God. Oh, that's so fucking, uh, that's awful. Number of violent incidents, white, black, Hispanic, offender race and ethnicity. Small nitpick, since the percentages are only reported to three significant figures, the original bar chart should display numbers to three significant figures as well. It's minor, but contributes to the overall sense of the chart is misleading. In my opinion, the original table is vastly superior to the bar chart. It communicates clearly the fact that rates at which white victims experience violent crime involving black offenders is very similar to the overall percentage of black people in the population. 14.6. Yeah, there you go. This point is actively obscured by turning these percentages into counts in the graph. Poor organization of information. It's just, there are more white people in the country, okay? There are more white people. White people make up like 60% of the entire fucking nation. So of course, there are going to be, in totality, more white victims of everything. More white victims, more white, more white perpetrators of violent crime, more white everything, despite the fact that, you know, black people on average are still poorer overall than white people. That's it. That's the entire point of this. I, I mean, we don't even need to fucking break it down any further, but like, let's do it, okay? This particular is misleading because without context, it makes it seem as if black offenders are going out of their way to seek out white victims. But overwhelming majority of Americans are white. The implications of this fact are a bit shocking, so let's let this sink in. In a truly race-blind society where most of the people are white and where victims are being selected purely at random, the vast majority of crimes committed by black offenders should involve white victims. This should be our default hypothesis. Exactly. Because most people are white. So clearly, you know, if you're looking at especially interracial crime, yes, there are going to be more, uh, uh, you know, white victims of crime. Missing context. If we add the same race crime, we see that the vast majority of violent crimes in America involve white victims and white offenders. Exactly. There you go. If we thought race was a huge factor and wanted to make the biggest impact on crime numbers, we might want to start there. Yeah. Look at that. Here's the interracial same race violent crime incidents. Wow, white on white crime sure seems out of control. 2.2 million, dude? What the fuck? Oh my God, why is nobody talking about white on white crime? You know how people always say, why is nobody talking about black on black crime? Which is like an incredibly fucking dumbass racist thing to say. Because again, this chart doesn't show you this reality because we're looking at totalities now and that's not how you do statistics, but black on black crime, the rate of black on black crime across the board is identical to the rate of white on white crime across the board, regardless of the fact that, you know, uh, in totality, the white on white crime fucking blows the lid on crime in general. If you know how to read statistics, you wouldn't get duped by this. But if you're talking to a fucking dumbass, like a Republican, you should maybe, you know, sneak this in there. Just be like, oh yeah, that's crazy. Why is nobody talking about white on white crime? 2.2 million incidents, uh, as opposed to the black on black crime, which is 396,000. What's up with that? White offenders cause more violent crime than every other group. If you think race is an important causal factor, then we must conclude that reducing rate at which white people commit violent crime would have big, the biggest impact on America, not just for white people, but for America in general. Unfair comparison due to age. According to Pew Research, the most common age of white Americans in 2018 is 58. For black Americans, is 27. As you can imagine, there's probably not a lot of 58-year-olds running around committing violent crime. So there's that as well. When we compare the white population to the black population without adjustment, we are essentially comparing 58-year-olds to 27-year-olds. This is not a fair comparison. Unfair comparison due to wealth. It is pretty much common knowledge that black Americans have much uh, less wealth than white Americans. When we compare crimes between groups, we are also comparing across wealth and income levels. Again, this is not a fair comparison. Exactly. Crime doesn't exist in nature. It's socially constructed by humans. When comparing social constructs between groups, we have to ask ourselves if the thing we are observing is socially constructed in exactly the same way for both groups. Do violent crime incidents have exactly the same probability of being reported and investigated regardless of rate? Race, do offenders have exactly the same probability of being arrested? Do arrestees have exactly the same probability of being convicted? Of course not. As we know, uh, the criminal justice system is not exactly too fond of black people and actually mistreats them regularly. Black people have an insanely high percentage in comparison to white people of being cleared of crimes due to DNA, according to the Innocence Project, at least, like uh, especially black men on death row. So do with that information what you will.